Is everyone here? Friends, welcome! Why are popsicles so yummy? Now I just have to color the flower. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. oh, a popsicle can be used to color. Wow, cool. Can I color with frozen paint? <laughs> I'll freeze it and see! Let's make the colors! Squeeze out paint. Squeeze. Add water. Pour. And then mix the paint in the water. Now, I'll freeze it in the freezer. Colored ices are ready! Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, maroon, white, gray. Will these work? First, red colored ice. Frozen, it's like a red gemstone. Wonder what the red will look like. Red. Swoosh. It's like an exploding magma. Or the fiery sun. Should I paint the whole sheet? I'll use the surface too. Swoosh. Red makes me feel brave. What should I paint with red? What am I painting? Guess. This creature has very powerful claws. And it has eight legs. And it has many legs. Eight. Wow. Guess what animal? Sideways walking crab. With red, you can also paint a bright red heart. <laughs> As the ice melts, the color fades into pink. But a second, third coat makes it darker. Here's a heart for you all. What color should I use next? Oh, this one. Adorable yellow. <laughs> yellow is my favorite color. Doesn't it make you feel warm? It reminds me of spring like forsythias and chicks. Let's paint with yellow. Round and round and round and round. Wow, it's very bright. Round and round and round and round. The bright sun is yellow. Cute little chicks are yellow too. <laughs> I painted a cute chick. Cheep, cheep. And there's a fruit of this color that I like. Delicious ripe yellow banana. For the sun, I'll mix in some orange. Swoosh. Smoldering. Smoldering. Wow! It really looks like the blazing hot sun. Mixing colors make a painting look more real. I'll try another color now. Next is fresh and lush green. Green is the color of life. Leaves, grass, and other things that grow are green. Okay, I'll paint with green now. Coloring with ice is as easy as crayons. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hmm. What should I paint with green? Oh. <laughs> Guess what I'm painting. What do you think this is? We 
all love this creature. It has a short tail and a huge green body. Do you know yet? I'll paint in some more details. It has nostrils. It also has sharp, scary teeth. I'll add some texture. What do you think? It's a terrifying dinosaur! Thump, 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 thump! If this doesn't look like a dinosaur, I'll do better next time! Our next color is a very, very cooling color. Guess the color. It's blue! Blue reminds me of the blue sea and cooling waves. I'll draw waves. Swoosh. 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 Wavy. Swoosh. It's the color of surging waves. I'll draw creatures that live among the waves. Here. It's a whale swimming in the deep blue. Now, I'll make a gray painting with many different colors. Here I go. Red for the top of the rainbow. Then... Orange. Swish, swish. Yellow. Wow! Layering many colors is very pretty! Wow! Oh, colorful rainbow! It's so pretty! I'll decorate the empty space. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I like it! The rainbow is my favorite! Hmm. Wonder what rainbow rain would look like. <laughs> For this art project, I got crayons to make rainbow rain. Stick crayons of many different colors on top of the page. Then we'll melt the crayons. Oh, they're melting! The heat from the hairdryer melts the crayon, which drips down like this. How can crayons drip without water? Because crayons are oil-based! By the way, hairdryers are hot, so make sure there's an adult! Now, let's go for a walk under the rainbow rain! Wow! Rainbow rain is just as I imagined! Wow, how cool! <laughs> rainbow rain makes the entire world look like a rainbow! La la! Walking in the rainbow rain puts me in a good mood! The umbrella turned rainbow colored! <laughs> <laughs> 